Hmm, what's this? iClone 7? iClone 8! Oh my goodness! So I'm pretty pumped with iClone 8 coming out. There's some amazing features coming out with it. The really cool thing here is this right here. So you've got the option of having a character and clicking in the scene and getting it to walk wherever you want to walk on it. So that's kind of like the old school RPG games or even like Guild Wars. Um, what else are we playing? New World does it as well. Does it? I think so. Um, where you can click and the character warts and walks and does all its animations. You can use it with a control and so forth. So this is a really good feature. We'll use it for the main character. You can and then come in and edit it with some tools I'll show you a little bit later. But background characters, this would be brilliant. Um, reading the features, the, the background characters, you can set the actual characters to be background. The textures are a lot smaller, which means that you can get more and more people into the scene and <coughs> So here as well, we can set a path and the character will just walk the path. So this would be really good just to set, you know, here he's creating a loop where the character will just walk around in a circle. Perfect for background scenes. Love it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't wait for Icelandate 8 to come out. So I've got a feeling that Actor Core will become more heavily involved in this. So it's a really good tool, um, you know, for these background animations, especially if you want to smash something up, make it look bigger. Oh, that's cool. So another cool thing for a background character is to just place down a zone and the character is going to walk around aimlessly in it. What? This is amazing balls. Like being able to produce such a massive scene so quickly. I'm actually looking at, depending on how this goes, I actually might step out from Blender and do my stuff in iClone 7 now because this is some amazing stuff. This here, check this pimp nizzle out. Not this one, this one here. So the foot stabilization, um, here it's gonna, you can actually see the footprint on where the character will kind of like stick to the ground. Ow! My goodness! So it's gonna make animating so much easier, especially here. It's kind of like stepping over steps or rocks or crud on the ground, a gutter, like wowzers. And not only does it work with feet, but they've also got it working with hands. Like, how cool is that? And then speaking of hands here, um, they've got a rig so it connects to certain objects. Like, look at that. And then so you can reposition the hand so it actually sticks to the place. Oh my goodness. This is just going to make animating so much easier. Now, um, emailing the guys at um, Reillusion, I was like had a few questions. One of the really big thing is, is all the add-ons that you have with iClone 7 and Character Creator 3 will come across to iClone 8 and Character Creator 4. Yes, character created four, so I don't know if that's in the title. In terms of motion capture, nothing is gonna be changing, so all the same plugins will work. As I said before, the Perception Neuron should be schmick. Um, what else do we have? There is no workflow changes to Blender or UE4, which is sick. At the moment, there is a deal that if you kind of buy anything from iClone 7 or Character Creator 3, you get the free upgrade to go to CC4 and iClone 8. So make sure you just check the conditions on there. Um, there is a link in the description for that jazz. It might be affiliated, I'm not sure, but if you wanna support the channel, what else? Um, that is pretty much like all these cool features. The pinning stuff looks really interesting. Some interesting things you could probably do with that. So I'm looking forward to just getting my hands on iClone 8. When is the date? I Next year, maybe? Early next year, I think. But it's just kind of like a demo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm excited. Are you excited? I don't know, but I am. And I look forward to stuff that's happening. Also, latest short film I'm working on. I'm doing live streams. Always, I'll probably try and do three, four a week now. Um, however, after each live stream, I will hide the video away. Um, what else? I don't know. Bow. I'm interested to see what the characters are like. like. If the characters are going to be like this, this is really interesting. I really like how these characters look. I'm looking at legs at the moment. Let's 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 go back and look at the lady. Um, really love how the characters look. I'm pretty sure it's going to be kind of the same, you know, beautiful characters that they have now, but also the cartoony side. Like, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Frank, are you pumped? He is beyond words. Now, I can tell you now, as soon as I get my hands on this, I will be making tutorials and a half on how to use all this jazz. So hit the subscribe button, check out Reillusion, check out the actual full video. Um, if you send them a message, you know, to uh, tag or anything, tell them I said hi. You know, how to do it. Yeah, Frank. Frank agrees.